Trade and Industry Minister Chan Chun Singh is calling on Singaporeans to stay alert but not be afraid of economic headwinds that are expected this year. Speaking at a business forum, he said Singapore's strong fundamentals and economic strategies place it in good stead. Eugenia Lim explains. Mr Chan said that Singapore should brace for stronger economic headwinds the rest of the year. The escalation of the US-China trade conflict, a risk of a sharper than expected China slowdown, as well as uncertainties surrounding Brexit, will weigh on Singapore's economic growth. But Mr Chan said Singapore is well prepared. All of us, including Singaporeans, should stay alert but not afraid. While the journey ahead of us may be challenging, we have what it takes to tackle these challenges head on. For Singapore, our strong fundamentals and economic strategies put us in good stead and will allow us to distinguish ourselves to capture new opportunities available. He added Singapore is still a safe harbour for companies looking to invest in the region. The island state also champions a rules-based international trading system. For instance, it's involved in discussions to ensure the World Trade Organization remains relevant. To top it off, the government is working to ensure its workforce can adapt to the digital economy by investing in training and education. Speaking to business leaders at the National Centre for APEC Executive Forum, Mr Chan urged them to play their part in training employees and to capture opportunities in emerging markets. They should also work with their governments to shape trade policy. Business leaders also have an important role to help shape their respective government stance towards greater digital integration and upholding of a rule-based global economy. But if regulation is created in the absence of really understanding how the technology is being used, um, how it is impacting trade, um, and how it is relevant to the way in which business is being conducted, then I think you end up in, in positions where you, you end up with fragmentation, which the Minister referred to, and you end up with incoherence and, and inconsistency that make it much more difficult for um, economic development and growth. Mr Chan also said that Singapore is working on new e-commerce rules with Australia and Japan. It's also collaborating with its trade partners on digital economy initiatives.